Welcome back to All Indiana. Now for some entertainment news. Miley Cyrus was just announced as a performer for the upcoming 2020 MTV VMAs. The 27-year-old singer will be performing alongside artists like The Weeknd, rapper Roddy Rich, BTS, and Doja Cat, to name a few. Miley said, it's about to get freaky. I can feel it. I hope you're ready. She also just released a brand new single, Midnight Sky. The 2020 MTV VMAs will air live on Sunday, August 30th at 8 p.m. Oh, Kelly Clarkson, she's set to host the Billboard Music Music Awards in LA. Kelly will return to host for the third time. The Billboard Music Awards are set for October 14th. Well, high quality full length clips of Elvis Presley's historic performances on the Ed Sullivan Show can now be seen on YouTube for the first time. The show's official YouTube channels rolling them out over the next three months as a special tribute to the King. Now, the first batch begins streaming this week. Fun fact his birthday is January 8th, and I know that because that is my birthday as well. Well, as if Clueless is coming back. It is. And this time, the spotlight is not on Cher, rather on her bestie, Dion. Okay, a reboot series of the classic 1994 film is in development. The show is set to focus on Stacey Dash's character, Dion Davenport, described as a bisexual, tiny sunglasses wearing, oat milk latte and Adderall fueled girl, and how she deals with the pressures of being the new popular girl in school, okay, while also unraveling the mystery of what happened to her very best friend. Jennifer Hudson, she's doing a lot of good in Chicago. The Oscar winning actress and singer handed out two thousand backpacks filled with school supplies to needy students in her hometown. The supplies included face masks and hand sanitizer. And two-time Oscar winner Hillary Swank is giving us something to binge. Entertainment Tonight's Nichelle Turner has an exclusive look at her new drama that is truly out of this world. So just remember, the further away I get, I'm actually getting closer to being back to you. That suit, it had to puff you up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, look, I wanted to be an astronaut before I wanted to be an actor. Wow. So when you put that on, it's like, whoa. So just how did Hillary prepare for her role in a way? Well, she spent five days at space boot camp and scenes like this required the 46-year-old to be suspended from wires sometimes up to two hours a day. You're like, like this. But then you can't talk like that because that's not zero G. So um, it was a pretty good workout. More ripped than Million Dollar Baby? <laughs> no, because then my legs are like, oh, I'm just dangling there, you know? <laughs> Wait! Hillary is joined by these four. She's their leader on a mission to Mars. One perk of the job, getting to wear the space suits. You first time you put on that suit, you're like a child. I mean, it's the closest us civilians are ever going to get to wearing an actual NASA suit. You feel like, oh, I could walk around in space. It was awesome. This very moment, there's a team of astronauts on the moon. And while the 10-episode series, which starts streaming September 4th, is set in outer space, it's also a love story. The Good Wife's Josh Charles plays Hillary's on-screen husband, who's still on Earth with their daughter, played by Talitha Bateman. The only way to communicate is through video calls. It's kind of like eerie, the parallels between reality and the TV show. And you would think we almost filmed this having heard about the virus and been like, oh my gosh, we have to get ahead of this. All of the emotion and the intimacy and intensity that you all have to portray, and you're not anywhere near each other. I'm just trying to take everything that I was feeling and how much I hated doing scenes on sort of Skype or whatever, and put that into the, into the scene. You're my reason my reason to hold on tight. And we'll have much more on the next Entertainment Tonight. I'm Nichelle Turner. Now back to you. Thanks, Nichelle. And file this one under not shocking Charlie Woods, the 11-year-old son of Tiger, won a junior golf tournament in Florida. Charlie finished with no bogeys and three birdies topping the leaderboard. Tiger was not only at the event, he also was Charlie's caddy. That's how not, cool is that? Not surprising. <laughs> kind of how he developed under his dad. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember we used to cover Tiger all the time, and I've watched him from a teenager all the way to, you know, as an adult now. Yeah. It's just kind of crazy. Talk about pressure, though, for the other golfers, the other players. Like, that's Tiger Woods, kid. Talk about the pressure he's on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm not so worried about the other, you know, because they want to make his life hard, right? That's pretty so, cool, though. Yeah, pretty cool. So, congratulations to them.